What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. Welcome to our daily show where we discuss everything going on here in our country that you need to know about on a daily basis, including money, investing, the stock market, the fourth stimulus package update, and stimulus check update. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure to click the subscribe button down below as it's completely free to do so and click the bell icon after subscribing. Remember that new videos come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will keep you up to date here with everything. In this video, we're going to be go going over all the states that have already passed stimulus checks, when they're going to be coming out, if applicable, if I can tell you a date, and all the states that are proposing stimulus checks or they're proposing other type of stimulus programs like uh, reducing state income taxes, um, reducing gas taxes, pausing state gas taxes, pausing grocery taxes, uh, other type of stimulus programs. Uh, multiple different things are going on here right now. There's actually going to be a lot of states that could um, do multiple stimulus checks, like California did a stimulus check last year. There's going to probably be another one this year. And a lot of states are going to have money for multiple years to come. So really, there could be a lot of states that have checks really coming for multiple years going forward. So, And thanks to today's sponsor, Albert. Our audience loved Albert so much that I'm back again to tell you about it. Albert is different from any bank account you've ever used. Albert is free, super easy to use with no overdraft fees, no checking account fees, and no minimum balance. With the Albert app, you can get paid up to two days early. Plus, if you're short on cash, Albert will advance you up to $250 from your next paycheck. And you pay it back with no interest and no credit check. Albert can also help you save more money by looking into your account and help you find where you can save more money. And best of all, with Albert, you get access to their team of geniuses, financial experts you can lean on for their help. The geniuses can help you make a plan and answer any questions if you get stuck. So check out the Albert app and when you open up a checking account with them and connect a qualifying direct deposit, you will get $150. That's right. Let me say that one more time so you hear that correctly. When you open up a checking account with them and connect a qualifying direct deposit, you will get $150. That's right. So click the link in the description down below or the pinned comment down below or go to albert.com slash it's Jimmy to download the Albert app today. That's albert.com slash it's Jimmy. Okay, let's talk about some of these different states here. Um, and then we're going to also talk about the federal government here as well. There's a lot of different stimulus programs. So let's jump right in. First up, the state of Illinois. Here is the governor of Illinois announcing uh, what they're trying to pass. Here you go. This budget will provide over $1.8 billion, $1.8 billion in tax relief to Illinois residents, while at the same time restoring a billion dollars to our state's long depleted rainy day fund, decreasing our net pension liability by more than a billion dollars and continuing to pay down short-term debts and unpaid bills. Illinoisans will benefit from a billion dollars in tax relief at the pump, in the supermarket checkout, and in their property tax bills. On top of that, we are expanding the earned income credit, sending direct checks to working families, and providing back-to-school tax relief for families and teachers. Yeah, so you could see here the state of Illinois, Democrats propose statewide stimulus checks. There's multiple different things in the Illinois proposal. Here's some of the details. It's $1.8 billion in tax cuts that would include stimulus checks for almost all residents. Funding would largely come from the $8.1 billion federal pandemic relief package Illinois received last year, as well as state tax revenue surplus. So there really could be more to come after this because they got $8 billion from the uh, last stimulus package. 
by the numbers, there's multiple different things here. Most taxpayers would receive $100 per person and $50 per child in their households, as you can see here. Property owners would get uh, $300 in addition property tax relief checks. So there's there's kind of multiple things here. You can see here $100 per person checks, $50 per child checks, and in addition, $300 in property tax relief checks. There's also grocery taxes would be suspended for six months alongside a suspension of gas tax increases as well. So there's really like one, two, three, four, five different ways of putting money in your pocket here. Uh, for the state of Illinois, the state would also freeze taxes on school supplies for 10 days in August. Also, the Chicago mayor just announced $12.5 million in free gas and transportation cards for Chicago residents. And that starts on April 27th. So if you're from Chicago, look out for that on, starting on April 27th. Applications open up. Okay, next up, check this out. Well, what's better, 26 cents off per gallon of gas that you get or a $50 or $100 check sent to you right in the mail? That's the debate here in the Commonwealth of Virginia. And as we check the gas prices here, you can see they're still pretty high and people want action now. It's pretty bad, man. I have to pay almost $5 for gas every day. You know, I live like 40 minutes away. Driver Prashant Pradhan a bit fed up with how much he's shelling out for gas. I have a pretty small car. It costs almost like $50 these days. And, uh, you know, it's uh, it's rough because I got to pay for other stuff, you know, like rent, electricity, Wi-Fi, all that stuff, you know. Oh, yes, we know. In Virginia now, though, a new Democratic proposal would send a $50 or $100 check to registered car owners depending on how many cars a household has. I think I'll state the obvious. Virginians are hurting, and they're, they're, they've been hurting. We Zoom today with Virginia Democratic House Minority Leader Eileen Fillercorn. She says Governor Yunkin's plan to cut the 26-cent gas tax isn't adding up to a direct win for residents of the Commonwealth. You know, the governor's plan, um, the majority of the money from the governor's plan would go to out-of-state drivers or go to oil companies, Adam. We want to help Virginians. We want to help them as soon as possible. McCulley Porter, Governor Yunkin's press secretary, tweeted this out about the Democratic plan. Dems are finally realizing the impact rising costs are having on Virginians, but their new brainchild does nothing to lower gas prices. If VA Dems were serious about helping Virginians, they'd suspend the gas tax and deliver the billions in tax relief VA veterans, workers, and families deserve. Lawmakers are set to debate both potential plans, either cutting the gas tax or sending checks in the mail on April 19th. Some sort of action is expected pretty soon after. Back to Prashant. What does he want? Oh, I'd take the check in the mail any day. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Over the gas price? Yeah. Because that's just money. Just refund, just refund me for the gas. You know, I shouldn't be paying these ridiculous prices. FYI, as of right now, Maryland has not voted to extend its gas tax suspension, which is set to end this Saturday. Yeah, and next up is the state of West Virginia. Check this one out. For weeks, Democrats have been calling on Governor Justice to suspend the state's 37.5 cent gas tax for a month. The governor has resisted, saying he does not have sole authority to do that and that it could put state road construction bonds in jeopardy. Well, now a Republican leader has a different idea. He believes it would be better just to send all car owners a tax rebate check. So what we have here is a battle between rebate checks versus a gas tax holiday. We can do this. So the road bond isn't an issue. We can have it both ways. We can eliminate the, the tax for one month and bring 50 to $60 of relief uh, to West Virginians on average and take care of our roads. I think the simpler you keep the process, the, the easier the, the process would be to be able to get other legislators on board. So yes, I believe that we would just do flat fees if we do, did a flat fee of $100 um, you know, rebate checks. Despite their differences on the approach to the gas tax relief, both lawmakers agreed on one key point today. They do want Governor Justice to add gas taxes to the agenda on a special legislative session he has already called for April 24th through 26th to deal with some other issues. The state of Delaware has passed a $300 check or tax rebate, which is the same thing. You can see directly here on the screen, $300 checks coming to Delawareans next month as inflation relief. Yeah, check this out. 
Rebate checks of $300 a piece will be going to more than 620,000 Delaware taxpayers next month under a inflation relief that's plan that has cleared the General Assembly on Thursday. They were debating between a gas tax holiday and a check, and uh, the check has passed. In the, it will cost the state $186 million, but instead they decided the state will send $300 checks to 168,000 adult residents who also did not file a return last year in addition. Uh, the state hopes to identify those recipients through public records, such as uh, through state driver's license, and then the other people will be through uh, tax returns. In the state of New York, uh, two proposals, Senator Daphne Jordan has advanced a common sense amendment to the state budget to establish $1,000 checks called the Family Freedom Inflation Relief Checks to help New York families being hurt by inflation, as you can see here directly on the screen. The amendment would provide $1,000 in direct relief to assisting qualifying families in coping with the high cost of child care or paying for their child's education or providing caregiver support to help families with elderly or disabled family members. And um, this has not passed yet, but um, it seems like there's a lot of different groups that would um, qualify for this. There's also another New York bill from a state senator that has proposed $250 gas checks for the entire state of New York for every car owner. So every car owner would get $250 stimulus check or gas check. You don't have to use it on gas, um, but basically um, you could use it for whatever you want, but they're calling it anti-inflation checks or gas checks for the state of New York. This is very similar to the California proposal that comes directly from Governor Gavin Newsom. Here's a bit of information about that one. We are learning more about Governor Newsom's proposal to send debit cards to California car owners to give them relief. From the state of New Mexico just passed rebate checks or stimulus checks. It's a check in your pocket, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they can put up to $1,000 in your pocket. Check this out. Money is on the way to help New Mexican families struggling with high gas prices. Lawmakers passed a rebate bill here recently after a 12-hour special session. The rebate bill easily passed the House and Senate with both chambers adjourning. Uh, this was now a few days ago. House Bill 2 passed with lawmakers voting to give $500 to individual taxpayers and $1,000 to married couple. couples. It'll come in the form of two electronic payments, one in the spring and one in the fall. Your income level doesn't matter. I, I think you have to file a tax return, though, um, for this specific state. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, you know, if you're from any of these states, you definitely should look into it. Um, as always, if you're from any of these specific states, uh, do your own research as well, because you know, it always helps to be knowledgeable about these things as well. The state of Alaska, as you can see here, the Alaska House of Representatives has approved a major increase in state spending, including $2,600 payments to Alaskans. Um, they have approved this in their House of Representatives, but it still needs to pass in their uh, Alaskan Senate, I believe. Uh, that's the most recent I've seen here um, for the Alaskan bill. Uh, this includes $2,600 payments to Alaskans. Yeah, that's because the Alaska state of the last state of Alaska has $80 billion in surplus. Uh, this is similar to the um, state of California, which has done a dramatic turnaround here. A few years ago, California used to have a deficit and uh, the governor there has turned it around here in the last few years. They, Like I said, they used to be negative. Now they have a $45 billion surplus. And this is after they sent out stimulus checks last year 
for $600 per person and $1,100 if you had children. Uh, but you had to file a state's uh, tax return for California. So as always, you might want to file a state tax return um, if you don't normally file a state tax return. So, you know, again, look into that. Ask a family member or, or somebody uh, who, who can help you with that uh, if you don't normally do that. So check into that. The state of Missouri has just uh, both the Democrats and the Republicans have both proposed stimulus checks in the state of Missouri. You can see here um, Springfield's senators have just proposed $500 tax credits or stimulus checks for all amid a $3 billion budget surplus. So the state of Missouri has stimulus check proposals going on here right now as well. I'll keep you up to date here on that one. Uh, you can see here for the state of Maine, uh, it has been announced that Maine lawmakers have reached a budget deal, including relief checks. As you can see here, right here on the screen, state lawmakers worked until the early hours on Friday morning to reach a supplemental budget agreement on how to use state revenue surplus. The Legislature's Appropriations and Financial Affairs Committee unanimously approved a supplemental budget proposal that will now go to the full legislature. So they've announced this deal, uh, but it still has to go through the official process of passing. This will include property tax relief, workforce training, health care, long-term care, a whole bunch of things. But it also includes, in addition to property tax relief and tax relief for retirees and investing in education, $850 relief checks or stimulus checks, whatever you want to call them, per person. So that would be $1,700 for married couples. So because $850 per person times two, if you're a married couple or for two people, $1,700. Yeah, that's a lot of money. You qualify if you make less than $100,000 for single people, $150,000 if you're head of household, or $200,000 for couples filing jointly. Idaho. In February of this year, Idaho Governor Brad Little signed a bill that allocates $350 million for tax rebates to Idahoans. That means it's passed because the governor has signed it. There are two criteria for eligibility, full-time Idaho residency and filed 2020 and 2021 tax returns, or full-time Idaho residency and filed grocery credit refund returns. The payments are queued to begin at the end of March and will total either $75 or 12% of your Idaho state taxes, whichever is greater. Okay, So you may have started receiving this. This is a $75 check or 12% of your state taxes. These will first be issued to taxpayers who receive refunds via direct deposit or send paper rebate checks. You can check the status of your check online. That's for the state of Idaho. Next up is the state of Georgia. Thanks to a historic state budget surplus, Georgia residents who have filed both their 2021 and 2022 tax returns. I don't know if that's a misprint because you can't file 2022 tax returns because 2022 is not over. So I don't know if this means 2020 and 2021. Uh, but nonetheless, this is what it says from this article from Forbes. will be eligible to receive rebate payments based on their tax filing status for the state of Georgia. $250 for single filers, $375 for head of households, and married filing jointly for uh, Georgia. Uh, residents who filed their taxes before Kemp signed this legislation will receive their rebates via payments or checks to be sent out at a later date. Those who didn't file by the April 18th deadline could see their rebates payments added to their tax refunds. Of course, that depends on how quickly the State Department can incorporate their new payments. The state of Indiana has announced that taxpayers would get a $125 one-time tax refund after they file their 2021 taxes. This has already been passed here as well for the state of Indiana. The state of New Jersey uh, has approved budget measures that would send a one-time rebate check of up to $500 to nearly 1 million families. 
Uh, this will send an additional $53 million to send $500, pay $500 payments to those who file taxes using taxpayer identification numbers instead of a Social Security number. That's for the state of New Jersey. In early March, New Mexico also signed uh, into law relief measures that would give New Mexico taxpayers um, the $250 for single fathers and $500 for married couples. That is uh, to be eligible. Taxpayers must meet the $75,000 and $150,000 or less. Some other proposals, the state of Hawaii has proposed sending a gas tax rebate of $100 checks per person in Hawaii. Kansas legislature is considering legislation that would reduce its 6.5% tax on groceries. The state of Kentucky has approved a $1 billion rebate for state taxpayers thanks to the state's budget surplus. The legislation is still moving through the state's legislature in conjunction with a broader income tax package. Eligible Kentuckians will receive a one-time payment of up to $500 and up to $1,000 per household if approved in Kentucky. Uh, but that is not yet passed for Kentucky. The state of Minnesota, Governor Tim Waltz, has teed up the state's $9.2 $9.25 billion budget surplus to fund a generous relief package proposing that Minnesota has received tax rebate checks of $500 per person. It hasn't yet been approved by the state legislature quite yet. Um, it could face an uphill battle in the state's split legislature. Republicans want to use the budget surplus to, to fund permanent tax cuts for everybody, while Democrats want to fund the most benefit for lower income residents. In New York, uh, besides the other stimulus checks I mentioned earlier, um, New York residents, some relief through a proposed property tax rebate. Outside of New York City, property owners would receive an average rebate of $970 while New York, City, New York City owners would get rebates averaging $425. The final deal on state budget has a deadline of March 31st. I'll have to try to find the um, final details on that, or you could look it up as well. After, the, after that point, details on eligibility and payments will likely be more clear. And the state of Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Governor Wolf has called on state lawmakers to approve a plan for $2,000 stimulus checks that the governor is pushing for. That's correct. $2,000 stimulus checks for the state of Pennsylvania pushed for directly from the governor. Yeah, that has been very big news here the last few days here. Um, yeah. $2,000 stimulus checks called for directly from Governor Wolf uh, from Pittsburgh, or from Pittsburgh, from uh, Pennsylvania, right? Pretty much the uh, same thing here. Um, so that is a really, really big news here for the state of Pennsylvania uh, that the governor is calling for. I will keep you up to date here as well on that. On the federal level, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi recently said that she would prefer a direct payment or a rebate card. I don't think they'd do a rebate card per se. They did do, they did do de debit cards on the last round of stimulus checks to some people. Some people actually end up being millions of people because there's just so many people here in the United States. Um, but Nancy Pelosi said that she preferred direct payments, which are stimulus checks, as opposed to reducing the price of gas, the federal gas tax on the federal level. She said that they are considering stimulus checks and she prefers stimulus checks um, as opposed to reducing the gas prices here on the federal level to fight gas costs and to fight the rising inflation, which was just literally the worst it's been here in 40 years. Um, and we know that three stimulus checks have already gone out here as well. Um, we've had several bills here introduced just recently including one from uh, a House representative in the House of Representatives, Josh Harder, announced a $500 federal gas relief check program for everybody 
uh, on the national level, which would be $500 per person, $1,000 uh, per married couple, which they call the Putting Gas Money Back in Your Pocket Act. So $500 stimulus checks, $1,000 for per couple on the federal level. Uh, pretty interesting name there, Putting Gas Money Back in Your Pocket Act. Uh, I like that. It's, it's a pretty catchy name, although kind of long, but a uh, pretty catchy name. And then we also have the $300 per month stimulus checks being pushed for from Democratic lawmakers, which for which is the same amount that the child tax credits went out for um, for children ages 6 through 17, which equates to $3,600 per year, uh, which is actually more than all three stimulus checks, uh, two from the former president and one from the current president, add up to. Uh, so monthly checks add up to a lot. As I said, it's, it's $3,600 for 12 months, and uh, or for two people would be $7,200 for a married couple, monthly checks add up to a lot, and they did go out to over 60 million children here, uh, the child tax credits. So um, the child tax credits are currently paused because they're just kind of struggling right now with the details of how they want to pass it. Um, but this idea would be for adults because of inflation, because of gas prices, because of food prices. Food prices are at an all-time high as well, not just in the U.S., but also across the entire world. So, um, yeah, the U.N. actually just said that um, they're literally just the highest prices as well. And we also actually have some Republicans coming forward with really the same type of checks here as well for the child tax credits, which is also uh, $3,000 per year for ages uh, ch children ages 6 through 17 and $4,200 for children under the age of 6, which is actually $350 per month. Um, this is actually proposed by Republican Senator Mitt Romney. There's several Republican senators that are behind the child tax credits here. So Democrats, if they're willing to work with Republicans, could pass the child tax credits here this year. But it remains to be seen if a deal is going to be passed here really, really soon or not. But the White House is discussing stimulus checks or gas stimulus checks right now here on the federal level. And um, I will keep you up to date here with everything going on here that you need to know about on a daily basis for all the states as well. There's probably several states I forgot as well, but I'll keep you up to date. And there's a snowball effect going on here right now. Uh, multiple states are now working on these and um, more and more states are doing this here almost every single day. So I'll keep you up to date here with more states uh, on a daily basis. Remember that new videos come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure to click the subscribe button down below if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel. It's completely free to do so. After subscribing, click the bell icon so you don't miss out on new videos. You can click here to watch my newest video next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.